I'm Nenad Ban. I'm a professor of structural molecular biology working here at ETH Zurich. I have been interested in biology since childhood and I uh, loved uh, marine biology. I, I enjoyed seeing uh, documentary movies about the sea. I'm a very visual person, so understanding how molecules look uh, is perhaps the best way, at least for me, to also understand how they, how they work. We are studying ribosomes, and ribosomes are responsible for protein synthesis. They are fundamental cellular components uh, involved in expression of genetic information from DNA to protein. Ribosomes are ancient and uh, conserved in all organisms, uh, from bacteria to, to humans, and uh, they are important for medicine for various reasons. First of all, there are many antibiotics that bind and inhibit bacterial ribosomes. And also studying ribosomes in eukaryotes, for example, in humans, uh, will be useful to understand how this process of protein synthesis is regulated and controlled. Because in some diseases, this process can go awry. So for example, in tumor cells or during viral infections, there are many layers at which protein synthesis is regulated. I was always ready to work on a difficult project, independent of whether it seemed that it is possible to achieve goals in a reasonable time frame or not. So in a way, it is sometimes important to tackle the project perhaps even before certain methodologies are available. And as long as you're in the right position to do the experiments, the methodological developments will become enabling in the future. And this is how it seemed to have turned out for several of my projects. And this is the, the, uh, the attitude that I try to instill on my co-workers today. Was ich bemerkenswert finde, ist, dass Nenad den Mitarbeitern seiner Gruppe einen ganz besonderen Spirit vermittelt. Und das ist dieser Spirit, nichts ist unmöglich. Und das habe ich auch mal in einer Danksagung von einem seiner Mitarbeiter in einer Doktorarbeit gelesen, wo drin stand, wenn man bei Nenad im Lab arbeitet, denkt man, nichts ist unmöglich. It's such an exciting thing to, for the first time, discover something new, something fundamental. It's almost like being an archaeologist who uh, uh, has an opportunity to see for the first time uh, through a little window, let's say, Tutankhamun's grave or something like this. So, already starting from my postdoctoral studies, I have been able to see for the first time uh, structure of a prokaryotic uh, ribosome. Prokaryotes are, for example, bacteria. And uh, in my group here at ETH, we have had uh, several of these big discoveries that led to visualization for the first time of eukaryotic ribosomes, mitochondrial ribosomes, and that was a wonderful experience. Also, seeing the process of discovery and revealing something new about uh, how these molecules work and, 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 and look uh, has been very exciting. It's important to work on a difficult and also important problem. Uh, uh, in my view, having a small breakthrough on an important problem is more satisfying and in the end more relevant than having a, a big breakthrough on a, on a relatively marginal problem in science. Research for me is both a profession and, and a passion. So I always felt that this is exactly what I enjoy doing and the process of uh, 
experimentation and new discoveries is extremely uh, gratifying and, and a great satisfaction for me.